and the House of Representatives on Tuesday tasked security agencies on the need to put together a task force to check and repel attacks on the nation's airports and railways. This follows a motion of urgent national importance brought by Honorable Nolim Naji at plenary. This is following recent incidents of terrorist attacks on the Kaduna International Airport and the Rigasa end of the Abuja Kaduna Standard Gauge within a space of four days. Emmanuel Ahijane, his report is presented from our studio. These two incidents occurred within a space of four days and federal lawmakers do not find the development acceptable. Honorable Nolim Naji is representing Nkanu East West Federal Constituency of Anambra State. Debating the motion, he said 12 persons were adopted by the terrorists that attacked the Kaduna International Airport on the 25th of March, with one person, a security personnel with Nigerian Airspace Management Agency, Nama, reportedly killed. This is despite efforts by the military to repel the attack, noting that if something drastic is not done urgently, it may embolden terrorists to attack more airports in the country. Definitely, if it happens in other places, if they start attacking our airports, the implication is that they, if, even the international airlines will stop coming to Nigeria. That's the implication. And the premium on, our, on, our, on, their, on their, our local airlines, the premium on their insurance will increase, will go up, and the implication is that the air, the air ticket will double. Because once the premium on insurance goes up, the air ticket will double. So uh, um, that's why I'm asking that, sir, that the leadership should come to our aid to see how we can solve this problem. Lawmakers, while condemning the act, called for proactive action by security agencies through the setting up of a task force to man the nation's airports and railways. We must pre present a very formidable prone as a house to ensure that this thing do not happen again. And for it not to happen, somebody, somewhere, must be held responsible. It, it, it couldn't have just been ordinary that these people would drive through the city and come and challenge the security of our airports. For me, it is not only reprehensible, Honorable Speaker, sir, but a display of general ineptitude on the part of the security. Now those who used to go to Kaduna by road became challenged because of kidnapping on Abuja Kaduna Road. And then thank God the railway came, the train came, Mr. Speaker. And they are being challenged today. Nigerian Railway Corporation had issued a statement that it, they are going to suspend the activities of the rail along that line. And Mr. Speaker, we were challenged some few days ago for us to have an infraction in the airport, which means that nowhere, nowhere is safe. So, Mr. Speaker, if our roads are not safe, if our rails are not safe, and if our airport, which is the beginning point of our airways, are not safe, Mr. Speaker, then it calls for us to suspend everything political to begin to address the critical needs of Nigerians. An amendment on need to include the incident of the bombing of a train carrying over 970 passengers, which was attacked near Rigasa Station, Kaduna, was also unanimously adopted. The motion was adopted when put to vote by Honorable Idris Wase, Deputy Speaker of the House at Plenary. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.